Anne No was a year old when she came to the United States. She arrived here from Vietnam. The year was 1975, the same year the Vietnam War ended. Anne says she and her parents arrived by boat to Virginia, settling in Lynchburg for a while. Anne is the oldest of three children and the only one connected to her homeland by birth. Anne now lives in Texas with her husband and three beautiful children. She has a very successful YouTube channel called Utique Bridal, a DIY do-it-yourself wedding channel. She is smart, talented, beautiful, and so encouraging of others. I am so happy Anne Knows family decided to come to America. I know you were one year old when you came over. Has it made a difference or at all with your siblings that you had uh, an immigrant experience that they don't have? They're Americans. Not that you aren't now. I believe it did in a way because um, it, it made me more understanding of my parents and my brother and sisters are very Americanized. And I believe that just being born in Vietnam and identifying my birthplace there um, helped me to be more understanding and wanting to always understand my parents and um, um, in my culture. So I believe it did make a difference. And I, I believe I'm like that bridge for my parents and my brother and sisters sometimes. You know, as you got older, um, tell me what was life like for your parents and then your household as, you know, your parents were trying to adapt to a totally new country. Well, when we came here, my parents had no knowledge or of the language and um, they basically I mean we had no money obviously and my parents had no um, knowledge of the language so they basically started from scrap everything um, and I believe that my dad saw it as an adventure in a way even though it was sad times he probably saw the whole experience as a new adventure or a new frontier for his family and trying to make it a better, um, a better future for his children and his children that were going to be born. Uh, when your family first came to Houston, did they move to the Vietnamese community? When we first came here, no, we did not move to the Vietnamese community, actually. We moved to a very um, prominently white community um, when it used to be, actually, and it was very rare to see Asians um, in Sugar Land at that time. Was it important in your household that you all learn English and not necessarily that you learn simultaneously Vietnamese and English? It was important for us to simultaneously learn it because my mother um, was, was speaking Vietnamese to us very fluently. And because my parents didn't know English at all, they did have experiences that were, I guess you can say, funny and um, and a learning experience at the same time. For example, um, when they went grocery shopping, back then they thought that they had to buy the carts or the baskets to put their food in. So they would actually, <laughs> yeah, so they would actually walk around the store just gathering um, food items in their arms and carrying that, even though people, you know, tried to explain to them that you didn't have to purchase the carts. Um, they just kind of rejected it because they didn't understand what they were trying to say, so they just thought in their head they had to buy the baskets or the carts in order to carry the food items. So basically, they just carried their food items the whole time, whatever they can collect and hold in their arms. My father, when he came here, he actually went to school not knowing any English, and he took classes, and he said that he got all A's in all the classes except for English. English, he would always fail. And so he said he would have to take English class twice until he passed, and he passed with a D, and he celebrated when he passed. So he said he, he had a party after passing English with a D. Hey, it, a pass is a pass, right? I'm clapping for him. <laughs> a pass is a pass, yes. And I have to ask, I know I'm happy to have you here. Are you happy to be here in the United States? I am very happy to be here in the United States just because of the experiences just because of the experiences that I've gained but there is also a part of me that wants to return to Vietnam since um, I've never been back since coming here 
Um, so there is a little piece of me that is missing my culture and my country. And I want to one day go back and visit. I would love to go back with you, Anne, and chronicle your reunion with family members who have never had a chance to see that beautiful face in person. If you would like for me to profile your Coming to America story, I would love to. Hit me up at stories at AngelaRay.com and don't forget to subscribe to Angela Ray Presents by hitting the subscribe button down there somewhere. I'll see you next time.